Good morning everyone and today I am so excited for today. I am actually going to be going to Tokyo which is like the first time I've been back to Tokyo in oh gosh how long six months or more probably. It's not like I would go to Tokyo very often anyways in the first place but it's been extra long now since I've been there because of the whole pandemic thing happening yeah so uh, right now i am getting ready i'm putting on makeup oh my gosh yes because today i am actually going to in kimono's shop um if you remember my last video i'll put like a picture here of being at her shop she was making a yukata for me well not making it for me she was making one for a plus size person and uh i was basically her model for that and she finished it during the like early pandemic stages so i actually feel kind of okay going to tokyo tokyo is still really bad with the pandemic but it's okay we are going to leave Mary at the in-laws because there's no way she's going to sit on the train for two hours. And, <laughs> yeah. And go to Tokyo. And I'm going to try and take as many precautions as I can. Yeah, getting there. Because I've heard so many stories of people going to Tokyo and then going back home and then all of a sudden they have... They Rona. Yeah. And I just really don't want that. But a lot of those people are going out partying, clubbing, um, going to karaoke and that kind of thing. We're not. We're just basically riding the train there kind of thing. And then going to a friend's house. And it's only her. It's not a party kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah. We... I'm going to do that. But first, I need to put my makeup on. So, one second. And all done. I know it's a little sharp on the blush and stuff, but I haven't done my lips because I'm going to do them there. I'm bringing along like different lipsticks and see what she likes. Um, she wants a really bold color. But I'm not sure which one to choose because I don't do bold. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, Mary had fun pretending to put on makeup. But yeah, I'm glad I woke up early to do that. Because if not, I would have been going insane right now with a toddler crawling all over me trying to do makeup. We have made it to Tokyo, yay! And we're in one of my favorite areas, of course, Asatsuka. And if you can see, the giant lantern here, which is the big entrance to the main temple. There's so much to do in this area, but not the main reason we're here today. So we're just gonna kind of breeze through this temple area right here, just because it's all along our way, so why not? <laughs> Yay! We have arrived! Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yeah. Hello. <laughs> her shop has changed a little bit since the last time I'm oh, here. Yeah. It's uh, only her studio now, which is fantastic. It looks awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. And all the stuff she had in her shop, I think, is online now, I believe. Not yet, but will be. It's, yeah. it's getting there. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So. but I think it's only going to be like ship in Japan kind of thing. So, But I'll keep you updated. Just keep an eye on the description. So, yeah. Yay! <laughs> and we're done! We are about to go out and about and take some pictures! <laughs> So while we walk through this beautiful Japanese garden, I'll tell you a bit more about Inkimono's project. The whole reason why I am able to wear yukata today. Stashia noticed while getting all her different kimono certifications that there really wasn't something for the bigger size community. Kimonos and yukatas are usually one size fits all kind of thing here in Japan. But for some of us, that's not the case. So she decided to take on the adventure of making her own kimono for a bigger sized person. She even took a specialized class to make one, and the kimono I am wearing today is the result of her hard work. It actually combines two different traditional yukata designs that she had to figure out how to piece together. This was all in her endeavor to become a more inclusive studio for all shapes and sizes to enjoy wearing kimono. And it turned out wonderfully, as you can see. She is a fantastic photographer with a great eye for detail, and you won't be disappointed with any of the shots she gets.
now we're gonna go eat lunch. I think we're gonna eat ramen. Oh my gosh. So that garden that we went to to take the photos was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just wanna go back and relax by it. It was just a very calming type of garden, which is really nice. But now I need to see what kind of ramen we have to eat. And we're gonna try out this place. It's a very nice, quaint place in Asatsuka. Lots of different ramen options at a decent price, too. Oh, it looks so good. I got the chashi ramen. And Naoki got egg ramen. Yummy. And damage is done. We are full. Mm. Lunch was delicious. Now it's time to head back home. Yeah. And we are on the train. And we are back at the in-laws to pick up Mary. <laughs> Yay! Hey, <laughs> Joseph. Moms always make the best food. Hey, Joseph, Joseph. Mm, it's pork. So good. So we have made it back home. Mary is in bed, and we're just doing odds and ends stuff around the house, like getting trash ready for tomorrow because we have a ton of it, and we just have to make sure the trash men will actually pick it up. Yeah, we're just like crossing our fingers because of how much we have. We didn't buy a huge garbage can to put it into outside. So yeah, because tomorrow will be the only like huge trash day we have. After that, it'll only be like one max two bags. Yeah, and I didn't see a need in buying a huge trash can just for like one day. Oh my, I had so much fun today doing that photo shoot. Oh, so much fun. I would totally recommend Sasha to anybody. Like, she's so good. And, like, she will explain the kimono or yukata to you. You get that experience of just getting dressed properly in it. And then she takes these beautiful photos of you. Oh, it's just so nice and she's very relaxing and she's knows what she's doing so like it's very easy to follow direction on how to pose and do all that kind of thing because I don't know how to pose and she was a great director which is something you always look for in a photographer so yes but my makeup held up today for the most part. Of course, most of it's gone from around my mouth because of the mask, but whatever. But my hair is still going okay from when she did it. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to having to undo that because I like having my hair did. I like having everything done. And yeah, I guess I could try and do makeup kind of thing every day i'm just i'm just not that kind of person the only thing that did not last and it barely lasted through the photo shoot were my eyelashes i had put false eyelashes on and as you can see probably they didn't last like as soon as the photo shoot was done and we went to lunch I had to take them off during lunch because they were already like halfway coming off. I don't know why. I think my glue is going bad or something. But 
yeah at least they made it through the photo shoot barely if that but yeah i'm happy like they did what they had to do for the moment but i will link all of stasia's in kimono's shop information down below so if you are interested in that kind of thing if you ever plan on visiting tokyo japan i highly recommend her she's in a fantastic area oh my gosh lovely lovely and it's just a really fun experience i recommend it to anybody like getting dressed up in kimono or yukata and getting pictures done and yeah it's just so much fun but i'll keep you up to date on what's happening with her shop and stuff down below so you can always check that out i'm gonna let you guys go for today we're just kind of chilling out right now nayuki's going through a bunch of like house paperwork stuff and filing it away which is really good and then i'll probably take a shower just to like wash all the the product and wash my face off and all that kind of stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today and like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one guys bye